Yes. Raymond Prentice Shaw. In the movie, The Manchurian Candidate, in which is portrayed as being fiction, a corporation was implanting soldiers of the Gulf War okay. with microchip implants and then putting them in specific parts of the government. Today, for some people, it is hard to grasp this idea, and they might think it is impossible, but declassified documents from the CIA's MK Ultra program, or Operation Monarch, show a person can be controlled with induced trauma to the brain. This is by scaring an individual to the point that it compartmentalizes the brain, or opens up different areas, and within these areas, information can be stored there. My experience as a mind control slave on a White House Pentagon level was extreme. This is the case of a lady named Kathy O'Brien, who claims she was a CIA's sex slave and was targeted to be terminated when she turned 30 years old. In 1832, William Huntington Russell and Alfonso Taft created the secret society, Skull and Bones, on the grounds of Yale University. Each year, 15 members from the college are initiated into this society. The majority of the men chosen are of a royal bloodline. Both George W. Bush and John Kerry are of this same bloodline, and both were members in the 1960s. You both were members of Skull and Bones, a secret society of Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> Is there a secret handshake? Is there a secret code? I wish there were something secret I could manifest. 322? A secret number? Uh, there are all kinds of secrets, Tim, but one thing is not a secret. I disagree with this president's direction that he's taking the country. We can do a better job, and I intend to do it. You were both in Skull and Bone, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go watch. I'm sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the Number web. Number 322? Two, two. <laughs> uh, first of all, he's not the nominee. And, uh, but, uh, look, I look for... Are you prepared to lose? No, I'm not going to lose. Within the Skull and Bones crypt, also known as the tomb, there is what is referred to as a sacred room, with the number 322, on the arched wall. About the vault entrance, is inscribed in German. Who was the fool, who was the wise man, beggar, or king? Whether poor or rich, all's the same in death. This quotation, from a German Masonic ritual, remains a source of controversy, surrounding the origins of skull and bones. It is one of the bits of evidence cited by some of the Order's most ardent critics that the group is Nazi-like. In fact, the rituals of the Order are very much like the rituals employed by Scottish and English Masonic lodges. Each initiate will go into different fields. Politics, business, finance, intelligence or education. They each will have an agenda to carry out. Rumor has it that while an initiate is in the club, they are required to perform sexually explicit acts with other initiates and photographs are taken of the event to be used as blackmailing purposes in the future. George W. Bush's father, George H. W. Bush, as well as his grandfather, Prescott Bush, were all members. Could all three of these men be a Maturian candidate for this secret society? Kathy O'Brien thinks so, and she believes George W. Bush had handlers because of the way he was unable to speak intelligently on his own. So, in my state of the my state of the union, or state my speech to the nation, whatever you want to call it. I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully, <laughs> and America needs a military where our best and brightest are proud to serve <laughs> and proud to stay. If you're a single mother with two children, which is the toughest job in America as far as I'm concerned, and you're working hard to put food on your family. Rarely is the question asked, 
our, is our children learning? Too many good docs are getting out of business. Too many OBGYNs aren't able to practice their, their love with women all across the country. See, I don't think you can be. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once. Shame on... Shame on you. <laughs> Fool me, we can't get fooled again. Being that both Kerry and Bush were members of this society in the 1960s, it's not hard to see that if one didn't become president, then the other one would. These are not far-fetched ideas but are clearly in plain sight and can be investigated. Who did Bush really owe his oath to? Skull and Bones or America? They are also other secret society fraternities in America. Scroll and Key, Book and Snake, Wolf's Head, Elihu, and Bezlius. These fraternities serve as a recruiting ground for young men destined for careers in government, law, finance, and other influential sectors of American life. Skull and Bones is the elite of the elite among these secret societies and is often referred to as the Illuminati or the Enlightened Ones.